Today I'm going to show you how I upload and install a theme. This time it's going to be Almond B. Let's go into that. It's a new theme and it's compatible with Moodle 4. I'm going to click on it and try it out on my new site. Now I just added a site, so let me add it here so that I can add all the plugins from Moodle. Org. I'm going to show you how that's done as I go. So here's the information, Engage Learners, uh, EngageLearners.org. Click on Add. And now I can add this new theme. So let me scroll down. But before I do, let me just go back here to make sure that I've got the theme. So install now. And then scroll down until I get to this new Moodle site. Notice install now is here. It's really, really easy. These are all the Moodle sites that I currently have. Notice some are local as well. So hit install now on the left there. And then confirm. Notice what I have currently is at Wiser Rem UI. Scroll down until I get to the next stage. And then upgrade Moodle database. Even though I'm installing it, it's upgrading the uh, database on Moodle, the Moodle installation using a cPanel. Okay, so now notice default CS, CSS or plain. I'm going to use the default and then I can add preset files. I'm going to, I can choose a brand color. I didn't really like that blue. I generally go for the same colors. Maybe it's time to change. I'll do that gradually. So let me go with, I think this color would work. And then uh, let's continue here. I don't have any raw right now, but I'll get some CSS. Um, this is for the background color. I generally like white. So right now it's empty. Hopefully it'll be white, but if not, let me just write the word white, or I can simply add one, two, three, four, five, six for white. And then um, position, front page, theme, the nav bar. All right, I'm th I think I'm going to leave this. Oh, here it explains the colors, the headings, the color for the page view blocks. So it's quite easy to add this. All right, so these are the colors by default. Oh, this is lovely. Notice I can really customize this. Nice. Seems really easy. Easy is good. Let me continue scrolling down. Okay, I'll get the CSS in there. page, picture, background. All right, so lots of um, customization that can be done here. Block background, color. I can also have button. Wow, lots of really nice features. Take a look at it. It's a new theme. I've never seen it before. And it's compatible with Moodle 4, which is really nice. Okay, so let's uh, get down to the bottom here. There are different blocks customization that you can do with images for the blocks. That is really unique. I have never seen that before for blocks. Wow, lots of really nice. Okay, so the blocks go on forever. And then uh, I'm sure there'll be an end to this. Lots of, okay. Uh, 
Wow, look at all the possibilities. And the slides, of course, that you can add. And here are the about. And you can add that to the top heading menu that I usually do. But a lot more options here that I've never seen before. You can also add social links. Notice they're all here and you can add them really nice. Thank you for this. And notice that all the links will open up in a new tab, which is nice so that you don't use, you can come back when you just uh, turn it off. And then copyright, you can make it your own here right now. It's uh, there by default. Lovely, absolutely lovely. All right, so we're going to change copyright here first of all. Okay, so I changed developed and run by Nelly Deutsch. I'm not going to charge for this, so I'm going to have to change that um, copyright. Well, we'll think about that. Enable front page button theme. All right, enable or disable block 20. I don't know. Let's just, it says default no, so let's leave it. And then save changes. Here we go. Lots of work on this, but it seems very intuitive and easy to follow. So here it comes. Our, well, it's not going to come yet. I'll need to select the new theme. So hold on. You won't see it. So in order to see this, we need to go into appearance and select this theme. So let's do that now. Go into the theme selector and it's change the theme instead of REM UI. We're going to use the Almond B theme. Okay, continue. And we'll do it for everything. So uh, we're going to change it for Legacy use almond we're going to change it for mobile change the good thing we only have uh, no we're not changing the default I think I messed up here let me go back here we change the theme we're not unset it use this theme good thing we only have one instead of in addition to the boost and then one more uh, and that is change theme for the tablet and that's it notice they're yellow here i'm gonna have to change that I'm not sure i like that let's go into engage learners that's the name of the site that's the front page right now i don't see any of the colors that i thought i'd see so let me log out and see what is here oh i don't want that photo and then there's a button here definitely not want that photo and not that one either that's the slider okay so this is the template by default and i'm going to make changes but at least i can see what's here right why choose us okay nice all right so we've got a lot of work to do and we'll start with minimizing this. I like this. I really do like this. It really is nice and it's completely free, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go back. Notice this is the login. You can see that I'm using an iMac. There we are. All right, so we're gonna go into site administration and start working on the appearance under Almond B. What a name. Why did I come up with this name? Almond B. All right. Stay tuned for more. Please feel free to ask questions as we go. Notice the uh, default theme is actually the link colors. That's what came out of that. Nothing else which isn't too bad. Let me know what you think so far with uh, comments and questions in the comment box. Thank you for watching and get your Moodle today and start working.